Welcome back, folks. I am Mag Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. When we last left off, uh, we were basically just embroiled with stupid. And actually, you... You know what? Fuck Venice. While I have a uh, truce with Great Britain, Venice's only ally, I'm gonna fix some problems that I was having. Namely, uh, that... I want my land back. Oh, we'll call a diplomat from Naples, that's fine. Um, hold off on that. And we're going to declare war. Take Treviso. Declare war. Because fuck you, Venice. That's why. And we're just going to sit and siege through your territories. You're not going to be able to do anything about it. See, this is just Venice. Great Britain can't go to war with me because they have a peace treaty and they would lose like three stability or something. Or a truce. And they'd lose, they'd, they'd lose some asinine amount of stability if they went to war with me. So they're not going to, obviously. You know, the AI's not great, but it's not stupid either. So instead, what do we do? We just, uh, you know call their land and get to go to war with them for free, basically. What the hell happened to France's army? I mean, like, it's France. They're huge at this point. Like, I want to know what's going on with them. No. Still at zero war score. Mostly because of the blockade. Okay, the siege is over. Good. Go there. Uh, and then we'll march back and kill you. And then march back over here. And siege. Uh, that's being sieged back by one person. Come back. Mm -hmm. I'll start building trade depots. Increase my trade profitability, I suppose. <coughs> you will do the same thing with that. This. this is see Treviso and Frioli Diddly. Tour. Tour? Sure. God damn. I can't speak, can I? Tour I'll do that. Really? That's what I was gonna do? So we just have to then uh, actually capture Venice itself. Uh, reduce overextension, claim our rival's province, Venezia. Let's make a claim, because that is easy enough to do. Then fabricate a claim on Venezia. Actually, peacefully vassalize them if we can get them to like us enough. But they probably won't. Hostile relations have CB. Yep, sure, we'll do that. That's fine. Spend way too many points on that. Uh, can I... Can I take Cuneo now? No. Still can't. No war score.
Just building trade depots at this point. No real purpose in it, I suppose. Let's just go siege their capital. I think we should be the one to siege it anyway, so... Papacy, that's still whatever, don't care. Disputed succession. Bavaria actually has lower... Okay, we got a mission. That's good. Pause. Reduce overextension. That's what I'm doing, so I may as well take that mission. Any mission that you're already working on uh, is a pretty good mission to have, I think. Or that you would just already do, you know? I like those missions my, the best. You are the maneuver four guy, yeah, that's fine. sieging that, so we'll go up here and siege this. just want to siege all of France, really. Sure, I'll lose diplomatic power, whatever. Um, uh, history now. No, we still have 0% war score. Basically all because of the blockades. One of the reasons why I don't really like playing a coastal nation all the time. The blockades are sometimes a bit too, um... Blockady, I suppose. Wow, we could actually just siege through all of France. I hope they force France to release something. That's what I'd like, ideally. Let's go 68, I'll build it there. So if they force France to release somebody, that'll really cut France down to size. And you know, if it's somebody nearby, I can actually kill them. That's, I guess, what remains of France's army. It was running somewhere up there, I guess. This is a weird game. Uh, this one, right now, like, it's kind of weird that, like, France is... completely not... in this game at all. They're basically almost entirely... well, they... they're not almost entirely. They are. They're entirely defeated. Like, at this point, there's nothing left they can do. Let's go here. Killed their entire army, whatever remained of their entire army, I suppose. Uh, let's have you guys go to here, since we're not using you for anything at the moment. Trade, sure, just build, whatever. Yeah, this is an odd... I haven't encountered a game like this in a while, where France is just such a non... Non-factor, despite being gigantic. They're huge. I mean, look at this. They're giant, but it's like they're completely a non... Non-factor. They're just going to be destroyed entirely. And it's... I don't... Sure, we did that. Yay, us. Uh, rival of a rival. That's his opinion. I could take Venezia, but that is a truce until when? 
1592. In the meantime, could I get them to like me enough? Venetian opinion. Uh, 25 hostile relations will go away if I remove them as a rival. Um, has CB, will be there, inherited. Irritated over claims. Yeah, I could actually vas- I, should, I could diplo-vassalize Venice. Let's go my country. Move. Venice now likes me a little bit more. Uh, let's see, I'm at 6 to 6. But that should be finishing soon, so let's royal marriage. You. My opinion of Venice is quite good. Trade dispute against Spain, that's fine. Um, achieve religious unity. I'd like to, but that might be proved to be more difficult than, or easier said than done. Accumulate money, I'd like to do, but that, again, I'm spending all of it as soon as I get it, so easier said than done. Heck is this? Yep, this is good. One more, and we should be at uh, school establishment build cost. Sure, we'll do that. We're basically, just going to siege through the entirety of France, completely unopposed. Attach Siege, and go here. Detach Siege, and go here. Detach Siege, go here. Pause. Detach Siege. Detach Siege, and... guys can come up here. Yeah, this is gonna be like, this is gonna be so over. I don't understand. How is they, how are they so bad at this? What are, I mean, what are they even doing with their time or their money or anything? I'm stunned. I'm almost speechless. Like, it's crazy to think that they're this just outmatched. You need money, make a fleet. Should probably make a fleet. But I like spending my money on buildings, because then I get more money. Uh, and plus a fleet is what? 73? It's a lot of units. Let's, uh, hold on, this is 15. So, 4... Uh... 5, 6, 7, 64, 65, 66, 67. So that's 3. Yeah, we'll build 3 more. Like, money and religious unity I'd like to do, but, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of something, if you ask me. just gonna siege through all this. This is crazy. What the hell is France doing? I mean, Commonwealth hasn't really been sieged that much. They're not doing... Okay, France will siege Champagne to Austria. France will give French come to, re to Burgundy. France will give Cornevers to Burgundy. Uh, France will give Courchelois to Burgundy. Charolais, uh, Commonwealth and the vassalization of Luxembourg. All trees with the Teutonic Order. 
Uh, wow, yeah, that's... We should go to war with France now. Uh... And then all of you and you meet up there. That was weird, though. I mean... You guys think that was weird, right? Like, I wasn't just me that was like, that was really fucking strange. Connects you as well. I'll lose diplomatic power, that's fine. Yeah, that was a weird thing. Definitely weird. Uh, where's my mouse? Come back, mouse. Um, let's... Courthouse by Armory, uh, dried out, county house, fort strength. Let's build a fort there. This is a very odd, sort of. Oh, you know what? It's just going to be easier to go to war with them. 1592, that's two years. Stop relation improvement. Uh, do I still have the papacy? Papal actions, uh, break royal ties, will not lose stability, that's good. Yeah, we're just going to go to war with them and the knights. Uh, knights are allied with Venice. Yeah. This will just be a lot easier. Uh, how is my military doing? 78. So, uh, yeah, 28 is 72. I need 72 boats to equal... Um, what do you call it? Uh, to get... A full fleet. So it's like, well... It's not really worth it, is it? You know, to take the mission to improve, you know, to get your fleet up to max when it's like, really, kind of okay how I am. So, 1592, this will end? Truce? Yes, please? December 17th, 1592. Yep, yeah. and then we will go to war with them, and we will vassalize them and the knights. Great depot, sure. Let's, for now, though, drop this and drop this. Make 40 gold every turn, every month, roughly. Um, Oldenburg means, likes me. Yeah, it's that legitimacy that's killing me. Uh, it's the only reason why I can't become uh, emperor. Sorry, Spain. He's ours now. That one's mine. You can't have him. Uh, boats go over here. Counting house. Build. Let's see. 94. That's a pretty good one. Go there. You guys go over here. And protect trade Genoa. What the hell happened to France? I'll just keep playing that game with them. Uh, annexing, we've almost finished annexing, uh, or integrating Ferrara. Which is good. Austria likes us uh, pretty well. We're finally up to yellow uh, legitimacy, which is crazy that it's taken this long, but... I suppose I'm kind of not surprised either. We're also almost at 1600. So I suspect uh, next episode we will be going to war with France and the Knights. Or, not France and Knights, uh, the other one. 
There's 10 legitimacy, of course. Now we're back down to red. Uh, hold on. I have to... Boop. Brandenburg. Oh, that bastard. It's one of those of, like... We waited until the very last minute, and now... Anyways. Uh, so we will we will pick this up next time, probably with a war with Venice and the Knights to get the rest of their territory, finish integrating Naples, and then integrate these two, and then I suspect we'll be done uh, with this, uh, you know, this thing going on that we got. This series. There we go. Words. A series. France. 18,000 troops, but I don't know where the hell you are. Um, they must be somewhere over here. Anyways, uh, I'm Anik Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. We'll see you next time. Take care.